The Find and Replace feature allows you to quickly change all instances of a word or phrase throughout a document. In this lesson, you'll replace text, you'll find text with the navigation pane, and you'll navigate a document. In our press release, we need to change every instance of the phrase Travel Luncheon Series so that when we're finished, it reads Travel Lecture Series. To do this, we'll use the Replace command to search for the word Luncheon and replace it with the word Lecture. Let's get started. In Step 1, I'll go over here to the Editing group and I'll click the Replace button. The Find and Replace dialog box opens and the Replace tab is in front. This dialog box tells Word to look for a specific word or phrase that you type here and then to replace it with something else. And there are some additional options that we want to take advantage of, so I'll click the More button to display the Search options, where we can get more specific about what to find or replace. We want to find the word Luncheon, so in Step 2, I'll click in the Find What text box and I'll type Luncheon. Then in Step 3, I'll press the Tab key to move to the Replace With text box, and I'll type the word Lecture. So, if Word finds the word Luncheon in this document, it'll replace it with the word Lecture. However, we don't want all instances of the word Luncheon to be replaced, because it might also appear in a lowercase format when it simply refers to a lunchtime event. We really only want to replace the word when it's capitalized, as it is in Travel Luncheon series. So, in Step 4, I'll click the Match Case checkbox, which tells Word to find only exact matches for the uppercase and lowercase characters we typed up here in the Find What text box. In Step 5, I'll click Replace All, and as you can see, Word reports that it made three replacements. In Step 6, I'll click OK, and then in the Find and Replace dialog box, I'll click Close. And now, we want to make sure that Word didn't replace any lowercase instances of the word Luncheon. So in Step 7, I'll go up to the Editing group once again, and this time, I'll click the Find button. The Navigation pane opens over here on the left, allowing you to browse a longer document by Headings, by Pages, or by specific text or objects. And you'll notice that the search box up here retains the initial capped luncheon that we searched for earlier. In Step 8, I'll replace that by typing luncheon with a lowercase l. Word immediately locates it and highlights it here in the document. And back in the navigation pane, the match is listed along with the text that surrounds it. This is really useful when you want to locate multiple instances of a word in a long document. Now I'll scroll up so that we can see the headline, and everything looks good, so in Step 9, I'll click the Navigation Pane's Close button, I'll press Control Home to make sure we're at the top of the document, and then I'll save our changes. To try these steps yourself, and for some additional tips, and to learn about navigating a document using the Navigation Pane and the Go To command, turn to page Word 32 in your book.